a Soazoic Leap. Let's talk about speed optimization settings. Um, short video here, hopefully, uh, just to explain my thinking around the settings and where they ideally should be set at. Um, let me run through the easy ones quickly. Minify, don't use Minify. Um, Minify is a terrible optimization anyway. Um, it breaks cacheability, it's slow most of the time, and it's generally just better done at Cloudflare, if at all. So just turn off Minify straight away. Make sure Minify is turned on on Cloudflare, but I wouldn't sweat it anyway. Um, images, um, I wouldn't use any of these settings in here either. The lazy loading isn't great, so instead use Auto Optimize for lazy loading. Next gen images, use EWWW or do it inside Cloudflare, but EWWW is probably going to do it the best. These others you don't really need to use. If you need to use this one, the WP Rocket setting to set the image sizes is probably a better way to go. This one here, if you need to use it at all. Um, the rest of the stuff won't do anything generally for speed resize images, don't use that. Um, preload background images, oh, I mean, I wouldn't wouldn't waste time doing that. One of the problems with Azoic Leap is it has to process the pages in order to inject the optimizations. So there is a lag time in there between processing the pages and injecting optimizations and then editing or manipulating the HTML to send that to the visitor. So the less we do on Leap, the better we're going to do overall in terms of speed. The more we can do it WordPress one time, the better we'll be. Particularly stuff like image compression and next-gen images. If you're doing a CDN, Every time that image goes through, um, goes through the CDN or goes through that um, CDN location, it has to be compressed or created or next gen image created. Whereas if you do it once at WordPress, it's done one time. It doesn't need to do it every cycle or every time the cache is cleared. So that's why generally better to do it at the WordPress layer. Uh, script execution. This stuff here. This one here reduced CPU intensive tasks. This one's not great. I don't know what it's doing, but it seemed to be on this particular site was manipulating the um, JavaScript in a weird way, slowing down the entire page. So just turn it off. It was just doing weird stuff. Script delay, again, better done at the WordPress layer one time as opposed to doing it at the CDN layer because it's going to need to process the page and the JavaScript first. So I just turned all this stuff off. Better done at the, web at the website. Um, CSS again, this stuff again, better done either in WP Rocket or in Auto Optimize and Inline or the CSS. Um, in this case, I just turned all the CSS optimization off because the site is using Generate Press, which already has very heavily optimized CSS anyway. So we don't need to add any additional CSS optimization. It's just going to slow things down. Um, optimize fonts, WP Rocket does this already, so no need to do that. Um, I turned off lazy load for iframes in this case because it wasn't working. So there was a page on the site with a YouTube video, it wasn't working. So turned that on in WP Rocket instead, and that did work. So lazy load iframes, and then also the thumbnail for YouTube videos. So that was sorted there. Um, pre connect, no real harm to doing that. Um, and it will pre connect to. Um, Add origins, which will speed up the ads a little bit. So it's actually probably a good setting to have in a Zoic. Um, static cache policy doesn't really matter, doesn't do much. Um, if anything, if the site is still slow or if the time to first byte is poor, then turning this off is probably a smart thing to do because Cloudflare will deal with it instead. Um, the site is sending cache headers anyway, so um, this is probably. It, it's either doing nothing or slowing things down. So it can be turned off if you have a time to first byte issue, it'd be worth turning it off. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's all pretty, straight, it's pretty straightforward. There isn't much to, to kind of leave in a Zoic. The, its main benefit is it will optimize the ads and will manipulate, manipulate the ad code to make the um, ad code faster and laser load ads and all that sort of jazz. So doing as little as possible in a Zoic and as much as possible at, at the WordPress layer is going to be a better all-round result. Again, because you do it once at WordPress um, and it's generated so the page cache has a cached version of the page with all the optimizations in it. Whereas if you do it in the cloud service, is doing every single time the page is going through that pop or that location on the CDN or every time the cache is flushed. So it's kind of inefficient, particularly 
because Zork is also on top of that manipulating the page to add a whole bunch of ad code into the HTML. So this seems to be the fastest way to get those pages to load. Anyway, that's it. Hope that was useful. Um, yeah, leave it to it. Cheers.